2017 World's Strongest Man, Botswana. When asked, who's gonna win? You know, who do I want to win? Z, love the guy. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Overall. Overall? Brian Shaw. Second. Four. Third. Eddie. Can you please have your top three, please, now, on tape. Uh, oh, really, what, on the, from the thing? Um, on digital tape. Yeah, okay, I think Eddie's second. <sighs> top spot. Oh, I think it's gonna be Brian. Yeah, with Janasha in third. Look at how he I think uh, Eddie's got to try and get as close to Brian as he can. And if he does, then he has a big chance. Brian. First, second. Thor. Yeah. Hall. Second. Eddie Hall, if he doesn't slip or trip, I think he's going to be 2017 world's strongest man. That's a tough one. Uh, I. I re recline to answer. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> World's Strongest Man 2017 from Botswana. First of six events, the tire flip. It weighs 500 kilos and has to be turned six times. We've got some tremendous athletes in the competition. Brian Shaw is tall, that's gonna be an advantage. Hathlor is taller than him. And the 500 kilo deadlift world record holder, Eddie Hall from England, he's so powerful. This is gonna be an exciting event. We're gonna find out who is the world's strongest man, 2017. Waking up for any competition on the morning is very nerve wracking. It's tough, but then you come to World's Strongest Man and those nerves go up a notch. There's, if one athlete said they weren't nervous, they're lying. Everyone's nervous. It's just about how you control those nerves. This is the most alpha male title in the world. Right. It is what it is anymore. Speak now or forever hold your peace. What's wrong? Why are you only doing six reps in the tire hoops? Too light. It's a little bit easier and faster. Yeah. Yeah. It was a light. You, you yeah. walked over there. 100%. I tried. 100%. It's too easy. Did it good? Yeah, it's up really and good. reach in 30 seconds easily. Oh, but that's what we want. That's the 30, second, 30 seconds to a minute is what we want. I did it by getting that kilo. Hang on. Hey, you, more, sure you're the best tire flipper in the world. No. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, but really. No, this year is very good. Yeah, but six minutes. Sure. Are you happy to do a flip? Five seconds. I do a lot of flips. Okay, would you do one more for me? One second, Monsieur. <laughs> so, if you do this flip in about four seconds, that'll be perfect. Because you'll go four, 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 five, five, six. And that will then average out over six flips at ever so roughly 30, 31 seconds. You're the best in the world, in my opinion. You got the world record after all. I did, I did two yes. around four seconds. Okay, let's have a look. Well, that's probably perfect because you're going to tire. A, a mild uphill makes a big difference. It hit me in 97 in the final, I know it. Back in the day. I was legendary. Okay, Monsieur, wait, wait, wait. Don't, hang on, the flip has to start, Monsieur. Flip would start as if it's just landed. Okay, ready? And boom. Um, okay, right, so that is, let's measure it, time. Your time, your time is about four and a half to five seconds then. I had a guess. Top. So that, that's, six, that's six flips. Top. Yes, mate, yeah, by all means. That, that, that's six, six flips, that's 30 seconds at the best. You do more than 30 seconds, I give you oh. 20 bucks. Shut me off then, Carl. You ready? Flip. On you go. Oh, that was pretty good. What we don't want is, is, a, is a fail fest. So, in my opinion, if you, if you, but if we do eight, then a lot of people won't finish in 60 seconds. 100%. Have you seen how easy the guys are doing it? 
And we've just counted up the time there. Two very good flippers. Two guys. He's got the world record, right? This, Eddie's was probably closer to five and a half seconds, five seconds. And his was about four and, a half, four and three quarters. So let's just say in competition, they speed it up to four and four and a half, right? But they're still going to tire at five and six reps. Do you agree with that? Maybe a couple of misplacements with the hand, sweat. Might I also add, guys, no tacky. We can't return these, with no tacky. It's not fair on the next group, especially. Do you want all of the others to finish this tire, each of you? I, 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 would like, I, would like, I would like times between 30 and 60 seconds, which is the end. We're gonna we're gonna have a winner at six the rest point. Final. You're finishing twenty five. I think to Colin, I think you've got to make a decision because we're there all is look, have the decision is made. Six flips. Everyone listening? Done. Next event. Squad is done. Viking press. Should we go warm up? Sorry, mate. No, no, no. Thank you for I, I, stimulating me into that. Sorry. What was nothing against against you. Sorry. Everyone's going to have a best of their life, and you've got to, you're the one that's got to be the tough guy's decision. You guys want to do more? So, six flips, yeah? I hear that. The first event would be in two heats of five athletes. Brian, Eddie and Thor would be in the second heat with JF Caron and Big Z going out first. And the legend, Zaviskas Big Z, four-time World's Strongest Man champion. Six flips is what it takes, Colin. And this is just a, a huge weight. Oh, massive. I mean, tires you might have seen before in competition, 300, 350 kilos, but this, half a ton. And one more flip for JF, and he's there. Well, look at that. If he manages this, the Canadian will be leading. He does. But what has happened to Zabiscus? I'm not sure, Danny. I don't think he's injured. It is very exhausting, this, and maybe he's not recovered from the heats fully. But he managed three flips. Charlet beat Lissis by under a tenth of a second. And Caron's time of 31.56, the time that the next set will have to beat. This man, no stranger to the podium, the reigning world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Eddie Hall. Needs no introduction, but I'm contractually obliged to give him one. And of course, the mountain. Bjornsson from Iceland, six foot nine. Managed second place last year. And you know that's not enough for him. Hands on! The start's crucial. Who's going to get down and get the first flip over with? And all of them got a grip. It's tricky to grip. You see there Bjornsson, he's reaching around, hoping the tyre stops bouncing. And it's actually Bjornsson who's in the lead at the moment. Surprising, because he's the tallest man here. He's got the longest way to go down. And Nick Best struggling. Back there. Three men almost in a row here. Look at that. Definitely Shaws and then Bjornsson. And what happened to Janashia? He just hit a wall there. He was absolutely equal with the other two. That's good news for Eddie Hall because he sneaks ahead of another man. And really bad news for Janashia. What I want to know was six flips, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Should have been eight. Oh, 100%. Brian, stop it. <laughs> well, 27 seconds, right? Two more flips, another another eight or ten. Karam was 31. Huh? Did I say Karam 31? Karam? Karam's, he's, he's giving me 20 bucks already. <laughs> you won, come on. You know, Give me a little slack. <laughs> no, it's... Just for the it, well, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Nobody was beating me on that six, eight, ten. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Tire was very hard to grip, very hard to flip, and most of all, it was heavy. You know, you had to be very strong and have great endurance. 
it didn't go that great for me. You know, I trained it hard, but I trained on a completely different tyre. Once the tyre flip had been and gone and I learned that I'd come fifth, I must admit I was very disappointed. I thought that may have cost me the title. I had in my head before I came to World's Strongest Man, I've got to stay in the top three on every single event to win the Worlds. And the very first event I came fifth. So that was very worrying. But I, I always had it in, in, my, in the back of my head, you know, the stars are aligned this year. Something will go my way and I will win this. So I did not give up. After the first event, tire flip, where he took second, he's headed into the squat. I'm sure his attitude is up. Let's find out. Now, Thor, how are you feeling after the first one? Feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Get a little food in here. Hydrated? Yeah. Making sure everything, everything is good. How about the squat? 700 pounds for reps. You got a number you're thinking about? Are you gonna do what it takes to go into first place? I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna do as many as I possibly can, you know, but to be honest with you, I think I have to, you know, because I'm aiming for the win, 15 at least plus. Yeah. Eddie will have already gone. Yeah. If Jerome does 12 and, and say Eddie does, let's call it 15, mm -hmm. will you do 16 or will you 100, do 13? 100%, 16. Great attitude. In the second event, the squat lift, Eddie would be going out before Thor and Brian due to his poor placing in the tire flip. He would be hoping to post a big number. Four years since a Brit stood on top of the podium at World's Strongest Man, but this guy, Eddie Hall from Stoke, probably stands a better chance than anybody. Let's see how he gets on in one of his favorite events here, Danny. There's enough, enough weight on his shoulders without this. I don't think Eddie Hall really thinks about the past. He's got a, a feeling of destiny in his future. Said many times he's going to win this contest. Now there's double figures. Look this is this. unbelievable. Over 30 seconds to go. He's already at 12. <laughs> Incredible in static events. 14. How far can he go? Yes. Oof. <laughs> 15 reps for Britain's Eddie Hall. Just one of the greatest. That is actually the highest amount of reps on this bar in history. Look at that. He gave it his all. That's how much he wants it, Colin. He kind of went mad. Brian Shaw watching on. Wow. He knows Hall's going to put everything into this and he's going to have to double down to beat him. I expected a lot more from myself. Um, I wrote a little quad tear. Uh, that stopped me maybe getting the extra few reps, but um, gave it me all. Uh, Why are you disappointed? I just thought I'd do a lot more reps than that. Really? Like how many more do you think you can do? I thought I was capable of 20, but uh, I, don't know, I think I got 15, I got disallowed the 16, didn't quite look it out. Uh, well, might be enough. I'll have to see what the other guys do. Well, that's beatable. That is beatable at the minute, so I'll have to wait and see. So Eddie went at it as fast as he could, so he didn't tire. Well, he set a real challenge. Will half Thor rise to it? Man has come so close so many times. So, crowd favourite. Well, at six foot nine, you expect him to be a poor squatter. Or au contraire. He probably prefers this to, to deadlift. Look at him. Well in control here. Ooh, got sent off to the side there. You must try and touch those pads at the same time, and it'll kick you off. He's so strong, he pulled it back in, though. Up to eight. 15 to beat, of course. Bit more deliberate now, isn't he? He's taking his time. Too deliberate, perhaps. He's got to be careful. He'll start to tire. Though his legs still look good. It's his core's wobbling a bit. 
11 reps. Well, 14 would put him in second place. Has he got that in him? No. This is not good. He's exhausted himself. Yeah, his coach is running in there to get his belt off him and let him start to breathe a bit better. Richard Smith's earning his, uh, his money today, the doctor. Getting through the oxygen. This is going to be a brutal final. And that's the man in the lead still. And he was listening to his coach there and uh, probably quite sensibly because he went a bit too fast, too early. Uh, started going off balance, but then pulled it back in, but never really recovered the speed of reps he needed. So Brian Shaw psyching himself up. Reigning champion leading this contest. He's just so strong. And what a man to go last. Only Brian can now beat Eddie Hall. 15 to beat. Arguably the strongest man in history. Of course, has five titles. He's got four, same as the Drunas, but he just doesn't have any weaknesses. He's so huge as well. Now, Eddie was keeping a keen eye. Obviously, Brian is all about control today, it seems, but with that control comes a lack of speed. Yes, but I don't think he'll tire Brian. I think he knows what he's doing. He's so strong and comfortable here. He just doesn't want to make a mistake. But you are right, Danny. The clock is ticking away here. 20 seconds to go. He's up to 10. He needs 16 if he's going to take this event. This is just too deliberate. I've never seen anyone run out of 60 seconds in a squat. It's never happened before. He's up to 12. Does he have 13? If he does, he'll tie for second place. And he does. Well, he ran out of time. Yeah. Dropping to his knees. Very good performance. 13. So he's got, so he's got 17 and a half, and I've got 16. I broke a record, Brian. First man to actually squat for 60 seconds ever. <laughs> I forgot about the time. Everyone was a post squat. She blew Zami more than that. She should have been screaming the time I did. I would have had to work, but. I didn't, I didn't take that out of One second, it's shame not. I didn't, I didn't. just take too long. I need her a couple more seconds. That's okay. Whew. In the final one, I saw Brian Shaw do the tire flip and win. He showed really aggressive nature and performance. But to come back in the squat and to go as slowly as he did, doing some 13 reps and expiring, elapsing the time frame, the period allowed to squat. He might have done a couple of more, but he just didn't go fast enough because in my estimation, bam, he doesn't have that. He's got great power and he showed it in the squat, but he wasn't violent enough, aggressive enough and hungry enough to do 15 or 16 reps and really put the mark up high. Looking at the squat that year, uh, there was a time limit on the squat, uh, which, which I believe shouldn't be. Nobody wants to stand there with a weight like that on their shoulders forever. Brian was really, you know, focused and, you know, really controlled. But unfortunately, you know, he ran out of time. I think he had a rep or two in, in himself. Yeah, I probably should have thought about going a little faster, but in all honesty, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed it, um, because you have to get credit for every rep. It's just take too long. You know, I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a couple more in the tank, but the, the rules are the rules, and the, I, I hit the time limit, so that's it. You know, so I'm happy. I mean, Ed obviously uh, had a, a big number there, looked really good on that event, and I knew he would.
Tell me about it. Um, well, in all honesty, I thought I was going to get 20 plus reps. Um, I didn't acquire a squat suit in time, so I had to use my deadlift suit, which absolutely did virtually nothing. Uh, it just made my chest tight. So uh, I think I blacked out on that 16th rep. Uh, I could have done more, but I still won the event, so that's all that matters. After a narrow win for Eddie in the squat lift, the final event of the first day at the World's Strongest Man final in Botswana would be the Viking Press. Eddie cut Brian's lead after the squat to one and a half points with four events remaining. The pressure, though, was all on Thor, who had slipped four points behind Brian and two and a half points behind Eddie. was to follow will be one of the most remarkable events in World's Strongest Man history. When they get called on, that's what we When it comes to rep events, I, I'm, I always kind of err on the side of the athlete with a warning. So just, just to kind of give you a chance if you lose your mind in the heat of so the battle. Awesome on that note with the Viking press, I always own side of caution. And, and you know us, we always communicate very much. But since since you can put it down, right? Don't you don't all of us know all of, I mean we're all the best right here. And you know if you double dip. You know it. Right? So if you're getting the point you're gonna double dip, you could always put it down and rest. So 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 the, so it, no it's, double it's, dip. It's, 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 it's no double dip. Well, like well, 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 so, so this, this is where I hate to use Thor as an example, but Thor often finishes some reps with his knees a little bit bent. It's, it's just what it's just his body position. So we'll just communicate with him. We won't give him a down signal for me. You can arm boys like this. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but do you know what I mean? For example, but I'll be communicating with Hapthor, so, so, we, so he knows it, so he knows it. So Thank you, Colin. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's just got to finish off there. Yeah. It's because <laughs> if it's only a little bit, you know, it's kind of a, you're like, well, did he double dip? Did he double dip? Yeah, what's up? So when we do the Viking press, we can come up, explode up onto our feet, come down, and that's okay. That, that's, as long that, as our knees don't bend. That is a that is as long as you as if you do this, and then land there, that would be absolutely a double but, dip. But the knees stay straight. If I come up and do that. So the, the person that you, by the way, my say the person. Heels leave the floors. You've got to head them back down. The, 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 of course, <laughs> you. That's true. and that's, that's our okay. call. It's as simple as that. It, well, it, this is not I, a perfect size. That's what you just said. Just be honest. That's why I'm saying it. You can't allow it. Can I, can I, can I, after this here, can me and you go and can I show you my technique so we not, so we... 100%, uh, thank you. Okay, well, can I say as a final comment before anyone who wants to stay, please, gentlemen, this is the greatest lineup of finals ever had. We all know this. I hope we can all attack this with the greatest sporting integrity that this deserves because it's going to be right down to a fine line. And I know why you're all asking so many questions, because you all know that. Gregor and I, Darren, Aaron, we will do our very best at, at all times to be as fair as possible in all scenarios. So hopefully we get the best man winning. Everybody else happy? If you wish to stay and do a little press like Hapthor, please let us know. Because what we don't want is people like Sam falling over things, getting injured. Everybody else, if you please pick up your stuff and leave the yard, that'd be highly appreciated. All right. Now looking at the, uh, you know, the the, the one that's got the most debate, the uh, Viking press. What happens there is, I believe uh, Thor should have had better coaching. A coach that really knew what a push press is. Half-door to fare well here. He's got tremendous pressing power, and he's attacking this machine 
very well right out of the gate. Nick Best already struggling a bit. A nice early rhythm, though, for the Icelandic Giants. Very little hips involved in him lifting this overhead. That's just all shoulder, deltoid, arms, triceps, locking it out. Colin Bryce giving some instruction there about telling Hathor to wait at the top. He received a warning there, but he's been given credit for 13 reps. Nick Best doing his best, full of heart, but not enough pressing power as Hafdor goes for his 14th and looks like he gets it. Now for 15. Wait, and so he's not going to get that one. He's called for double dipping by Colin Bryce, the head referee. Man, that's a tough one. And let's be clear, Brent. There's nobody better in this sport than head referee Colin Bryce to make such an important and a subjective call. Thor gets into trouble there with his lockout. The referee gave a warning earlier for bending the knees in the lift. And in that last lift, to uh, try to get that lockout, he uh, moves his hips forward, bends his knees. And unfortunately, that's not allowed. Anything to say now? Why you feel so good? You want to talk more? <laughs> talk later if you'd rather. Okay. Alrighty! Brent, it was a year ago, right here in Botswana, that Martins Litsis on the right here really made an impression, a name for himself, making it to the final as a rookie. But he's got his work cut out for him. Going against the tremendous pressing power of the Brit Eddie Hall here. This is unbelievable. I mean, these guys, if they wanted to, you're allowed to stop. And now finally Eddie Hall does. You can stop and restart. But it, it was at 11 before he needed a breather. And how about Leeds? Eight reps and been nursing a sternum injury all competition long, putting on the display as well. But he may be tapped out. Let's see how Eddie Hall finishes here. Eddie getting his second win. 14, the number to beat, put up by Bjornsson moments ago. And now Eddie going after it again. He's tied him with his 14th. And with that, Brent, Eddie Hall wins the Viking press here in the final with an amazing 15 reps. And he probably could have done more, but he knows he only needed 15. Well, affectionately known as the beast, he attacked that Viking press with animalistic tenacity. Just ask him, what's the reason why you took the 15 minutes from the All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out today. His worst defense was he kept putting it down before I sat down. But I gave it to him because I knew there was some more. I got you. Let's have. That's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll promise you my life. I'll go home if this is the case. You can. Let's let's have three other referees look at it and they all say 
Let's just double dip. That's fine. Dude, I, I had to, I had three referees. I had myself, him, and Darren, all referee. You're the guy who's making the decisions. And I'm the guy who makes the decisions. And therefore, I gave, you, I gave you three reps that were bad, because I warned you, and I gave you one off. I'm sorry. One of four got taken away. It's 100%, man. It's just, this hurts too much. I, I know it hurts, Tap Thor. I apologize, Tap Thor, if you think that way. But I, 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 I do everything just as I see it. As I see it. I, I, and I could have been mean about those other reps. I didn't. Because I knew you were confused. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I did. Eddie Hall, nice job in the press. You know, you could have squatted 700 for 20. Why didn't you do 20 with that? That was tough. Because you didn't need it, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm on the limit. I mean, everyone's up the game. You know, you always think you're going to go in and dominate events, and then someone comes out after a year of training, and they've caught you up. And that's what that's always the case. Everyone's improving. Yeah. Well, you looked absolutely fantastic out there. What's up next now? We've got the plane pull, yeah. which I could potentially win, but you yep. know, we're definitely top three. Yep. Max deadlift, which is mine. Yep. And then it's just good points going into the stones. I just And you're pretty damn good at the stones too. I'm pretty good at the stones, you know, easily. I could win the stones, but easily top three on the stones, you know? Crosshairs on this the trophy. Is the, this is the year. Thanks good a lot, luck. guys. Thank good you. Luck. Thor came out and put a good number up, a 14, which is a lot for him and his body structure and his, his length of levers. Well, Eddie followed and did one more. He probably though, in my estimation, after doing 15, he could have done 16, 17, whatever he needed to do. But the way it came down, the rules were simple. Don't bend your legs twice, no double dip. And half the word, started to do that and it cost him reps. I think he actually got away with it a couple of times before he actually then did lose one rep from it. But he was warned and we went over it. It was discussed in length in the rules meeting and uh, it just was not allowed. He probably would do it different if he'd have a chance to do it again.